to decide that the things that I tried were in my life just to get high on. When I sit alone, come get a little known, but I need more than myself this time. Step from the road to the sea to the sky, and I do believe that we rely on. When I lay it on, come get to play it on all my life to sacrifice. Hey, oh, listen what I say, oh, I got your hey, oh, now listen what I say, oh, oh. when will I know that I really can go to the well one small time to decide on, when it's killing me, when will I really see all that I need to look inside, come to believe that I better not leave. Great big hello to the inline skating world out there. My name is Peter Set, webmaster of speedskateworld.com. And today I'll be talking and uh, you'll be seeing different things from the Wheel and Tier Verse Technology by Bruce Honecker. It's a wonderful little system that has applications for beginner skaters as well as for elite speed skaters, uh, potentially. So enjoy this video and thank you very much for watching. So the first thing you'll notice um, is when I do not have the uh, wheel anti-reverse uh, technology on my skates, I am able to go backwards as such, just like that, moving backwards. And that is wonderful to do if you're an advanced skater. However, if you're a beginner skater, going backwards might be something that is not um, desired, such as if you would like to go up this driveway, which is on a slight incline here, which you can tell, what you do is you kind of step up and if you're having a difficult time, well, you're going to start rolling back just like this and uh, perhaps uh, a car is going to come here, zoom by and it hit me and I don't want things like that to happen. So next up I'll demonstrate how the uh, work system can prevent something like that from happening. Over here we've got my skates which have been fitted with the um, work system, with the work technology and um, I'm going to demonstrate how it applies. So, as I put my skates on, I'm going to just do a little bit of talking for you and talk about the system. Um, special applications, just like I showed a few seconds ago, include being able to prevent a skater from rolling backwards when they don't want to roll backwards. Um, for beginner skaters, and I've taught quite a few beginner skaters to teach, that can be an issue, uh, rolling back. And ideally, when you are pushing, your stroke should be towards the side, this way, like that. You shouldn't be pushing back. However, I find that many uh, skaters that are learning to skate tend to push back, and that is not good. So what will happen then, is you are wearing uh, this uh, system from uh, Mr. Bruce Honecker, is you will find that as you push back, the wheels cannot roll backwards. They can only go forwards. Uh, there's a mechanism which uh, prevents the wheels from rolling backwards, and so therefore, as you push backwards, the wheels will actually propel you forwards. Um, ideally, you want to push to the side and not have the system engage or, or be used, but not everybody has a very efficient stroke. So that is one of the advantages of having uh, this system on your skates. And here I am in my driveway right now, my car right behind me. And uh, let's say I'm a beginner skater. I don't want to roll back, I want to go that way, the opposite way of where the camera's pointing right now. Um, and however, let's say I've, I'm pushing back like this, I'm not going to go that way. But as you can see right now, I've got all my weight on this foot. And try as I want, it's not going back. Okay? So this is a wonderful application for the skates, uh, going up inclined planes and not having to roll back. And the other application as I talked about is in the stroke and the skating push, whether you're a speed skater or a beginner skater, right? You want your push, as you can see here, to be to the side this way. You don't want to push back like this. So at a slow enough speed, if you are a person who pushes back, the wheels will actually not do that. They, they will propel you forward as you push. Um, so that'll help correct your technical flaws a little bit, but also you will get slightly more speed and also a more positive inline skating experience uh, due to the system that Bruce has designed. So perhaps you're asking yourself, what about the racing or the speed skating application? Well, uh, these, uh, this technology can potentially have an impact on the inline speed skating world as well. Um, there's a rule that states that the skate cannot roll back during a 200 or 300 meter time trial. And what I mean by that is, if you are starting a race and you've got your front foot in the box like this, 
and you get in the skating position and let's say your skate rolls back like that that will be a false start first motion has to be towards the direction of the race so what this technology does okay I've, I've disengaged one on the other skate just to demonstrate the rollback but what it does I'm gonna switch hands here is as you do your 300 meter start you can't you oops, I, I slipped there but you can't roll back you can only roll forward right as you can see see that right, I'm trying to roll back I'm rolling forward to roll back but it's not working okay and uh, that can prevent some false starts from uh, happening and uh, which is some good stuff Well, my inline skating friends, um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Bruce, for letting me try out uh, the system here and make uh, my own judgments for myself. Um, inline skating is a beautiful sport. If you, whether you're learning it or whether you're one of the top world skaters, um, take it up, enjoy it, and get out there and skate. Make sure you got one of these things on. Uh, very important. And uh, thank you very much for watching once again. Over and out.